Hi, so after the last video, somebody wrote to me and said that when they were using Tinkercad and they wanted to do something like make a rotor for a generator, they were using copy and rotate and it was changing the scale of things and this was most interesting. Could I help? And I thought, yes, of course I can. Two main reasons. One, it gives me a chance to show off. And two, it gives me a chance to introduce a really interesting tool available in Tinkercad. So, let me first of all show you what he meant and what I did about it. So we're back in Tinkercad, and let's say we want to do something like, say, create a rotor for a generator. Then obviously what we'd start with is a cylinder, smooth it out, increase the size, and let's say 100 by 100. And we'll make it five millimeters deep. That would be the basis of our rotor, because what we want in here is some holes so that we can stick some magnets in there. If we take the hole primitive, and we change that to a magnet size, let's say 10.2, so it'll take a one centimeter magnet with two millimeters to be able to get it in there and for any variance we've got in the printing. Then that, if I line that up with this, will form the basis of the hole, let's merge them, and we can stick a magnet in there and we'll get ourselves a rotor. Because that by itself isn't good enough. What we want to do is put holes all the way around so we can put magnets all the way around. And that's usually pretty simple. Just highlight the two of them, duplicate it, grab this arrow here and move it by whatever degrees you want. And let's move it by 22 and a half degrees. There we go. However, if we now click on that, we'll see that the scale on this has changed to 10.17 and 10.17 instead of 10.2 and 10.2. And the issue here is we may not be able to get the magnet in there. So the scale will change as it goes around that rotation because we can just repeat what we've done in order to get this in exactly the right places where we want them, but the scale will change. And of course, that's a bit irritating because maybe your magnets will fit, maybe they won't fit. If we click on there, we'll see that there's a lock icon right there, lock editing. We can lock that editing, but unfortunately, once we do that, it locks the scaling, but it also locks the ability to move it. So if we now duplicate that, and try to spin that around, then it'll move the 22.5, but that stays in place. And of course, that is really irritating. So what do we do about that in order to get that to be able to rotate, but maintain its scale? Well, Tinkercad did include something with this. Mostly what we use is this basic shapes pull down menu. If you click on that and you put your creations in there, then it'll create a new bit for you. So the first thing to do is, Highlight the bit that you want to create a part from, click on that, your creations, create shape, and it will take the highlighted shape and make a creation for you. So let's name that shape and we'll call that whole magnet. A little description of what it is. And notice that it's bit here, lock part size. We want to prevent scaling. And if we save that shape, it'll save it in our creations. And we can now use that like we would use anything else. So let's delete that. And now instead of using the hole and changing the size, we use our part that we just created. Then we can align it. And it will respond like a hole. So if I merge that together, then there we go. If I duplicate it and rotate it, Click on that, then it is 10.2 and 10.2, and this one is 10.2 and 10.2. So we have successfully prevented scaling as that rotates round and enabled it to rotate by using Create Shape in your creations. And that's found under this pull down menu where you normally see basic shapes. So I thought that would solve his problem. I hope it does, but it also gave me the chance to show you your creations as a tool because clearly it's much more useful than just that. If you create an intricate part you think you're going to use time and time again, for instance, a chain link or a ball and socket joint or something like that, 
If you make it a creation, instead of having to save it as a file and re-import it, you can just pull it straight from the toolbar. So very useful. If you don't want scaling, don't forget to click that don't scale button. If you do want scaling, don't click it. And if you pull in some other creation somebody has done where scaling is locked, you can also unclick the button and edit the scaling on there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.